Hey everyone, welcome back to the Let Freedom Ring row by row. This is our last row, the Snap, Crackle, and Pop block. I have my row done already, as you can see. Um, this is just your basic granny square block. So, super easy. Um, I cut out my pieces and the easiest way to do this is to layer on a design board and put it right next to your sewing machine so you can just continue sewing. Um, but here I'm just going to lay out the block just like the diagram and I'm using, um, there's two different color variations and mine is different than the picture because I am completely out of several of the pieces since I've already made my my quilt. That means I'm pressed, but my iron is not hot yet, so I'll press it in just a second. Um, I love granny square blocks. An entire granny square quilt would just make me so happy. It's just so traditional looking. Um, something that you would have seen on your grandma's bed or something. I always just imagine granny square blocks like in vintage quilts. Um, okay, so the thing about this block is keeping your seam allowance um, consistent and because it's all just patchwork and basically that you're sewing whoops I forgot these two I guess I need these two on the end so I would layer all of my blocks like this on top of each other and then I would take this over to my machine and sew um, but for this demonstration, I'm just sewing one block together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew my rows. And then you want to press your rows in alternating directions so you can nest your seams. So I would press this row like this way this row this way and this row this way got a few pieces that need some pressing so i'm gonna do that and then we will sew our rows together okay so i have my rows sewn and i just need to switch that because i need them going opposite directions the pressing um okay so you're gonna start by i'm gonna just slide this down here your first two rows what you're gonna do is you're gonna center this piece so it's a quarter inch on both sides and you could fold this like in half do a mark and then fold this in half and do a mark if you I really concerned about getting it right in the center. And then you can press it. So what you're going to do is take this over to your sewing machine. And I just start up here in anyway, even though I'm not really sewing anything. <laughs> it's just easier. So I'm going to sew a quarter inch seam along this line. And you can pin this so it doesn't move which I think I'll just stick a pin in there really quick. Um, and then you're gonna do the same thing. And so the next row to this row, and you're gonna nest your seams. And I'll show that in just a second. Okay, so my top piece is on there. So now I'm gonna place this one. And this one's easier. You don't really have to mark your center. You just wanna take your um, rows and you're gonna nest in your seams and pin at your intersections. I'm not a pinner, but this is always a good idea to pin when you're doing these. The results always seem to be better. Um, so I've pinned at both intersections 
And I actually like to flip it over and sew from this side so I can um, make sure this is straight. So I'm gonna take this over and do another seam. Okay, so I have those and now I'm gonna go ahead and nest these ones. This is why you want to press them in opposite directions because nesting always helps when sewing patchwork together. And this is just basically patchwork, but on point. Okay, so now I'm going to take that over and sew. Okay, last but not least is our last little square. And again, you can mark the center. You can eyeball it. You just want to make sure you're quarter inch on both sides. It's probably a good idea to mark it so you know you're nice and centered. So I'm going to go ahead and sew that and press and then I'll show you how to trim. Oh my heck you guys, I recorded how I trimmed this up and I guess I didn't actually hit the record button. <laughs> so the easiest thing now that I can't really show you how I trimmed it, but I like to use a six and a half inch square. If you don't have a six and a half inch square, just trim about a quarter inch away from your seam lines. So I would line it up here and trim and do it on all four corners um, to get your block. So I'm sorry my video wasn't recording at that time. But here's my row. It came together really nicely. I love the granny square block. Um, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Next time we will be assembling our quilt so I'm pretty excited about it if you um have any questions I think I already said that let me know I'm a bit flustered since my video didn't record all the way <laughs> um okay so we'll see you next time when we assemble our quilt